So, so far we learned how to use a calculator and graph a box plot. And in this question, we have the following information about the housing prices in San Jose Rio for a single family two bedroom house. But how do we find the outlier without using a box plot? What is the algebra behind it? So to do the algebra, we need to follow the steps here. The very first thing you need to do, you need to find the interquartile range. Interquartile range, which is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So remember that we used our calculator and found these information. Let me erase this part of the board for the box plot. The information that we found, you can go back to stat and calc, one variable statistic, everything is uh, written in L3. So here, you do the calculation, you have information about your third quartile and the first quartile. So your third quartile is 1,449500 and minus the first quartile, 909. 25. Okay. After finding this number, you're going to multiply it by 1.5, right? So let us do the subtraction here, what I'm going to do. Let me just clear the whole thing. And here I have 1449500 minus 99.2500. Okay. 457,000 is interquartile range. Now you're going to take the interquartile range and multiply by 1.5. Multiply that by 1.5. Here we go. So 1.5 times interquartile range, which is 1.5 times this number that you calculated. Trying to write down everything and then the calculator just up there. Then any number less than Q1 minus this value that you calculated, 685,500, and any number more than Q3 plus 685,500 is an outlier. Okay, so what is my Q1? My Q1 is, 99.2500 minus 685,500. Any number less than about 300,000, which we don't have, is an outlier. There is no number less than $300,000. So it means that the majority of the data that are distributed about the mean are fine. Now let's take a look at Q3 plus this number. Our Q3 was okay, 1,044,9500 plus. Here we have 68,55,200, which is 2,135,000. Thousand. All right. Any number in the data more than this number counts as outlier. So take a look at the data. You have one of them here. What else? The other one is just right here. So as your box plot, verify that the outlier is this number. The algebra behind the work also verifies that you have outlier, which is 2 million. $798,000. The algebra and also we used our box plot to show you how to calculate the outlier in your data.